Hello and welcome back to another video of this Power Automate email automation series. In this video, we will see how to add table in the email body. In this video, I am using HTML. In my upcoming video, we will see how to add table in the email body using VV script. Before go ahead, please request to all of you. If you like the content of this video, so please hit the like button. Bell like is a big support of for our YouTube channel and subscribe my channel for more video. Go ahead and let's start the video. This is the flow. First of all, I show you uh, STML that I will use here. Here you can see this is the CSS that I will use uh, here. This file link I will mention in the description box so you can find easily and this uh, body text also I am using these both file link I will mention in the description box so you can find so go to power automate and let's start first of all I launch Excel launch Excel action take and drag and drop here here I am using uh, Excel for uh, reading table this data table Excel I am using here I show you so this table I am using in the mail body and also I am taking here get first free get first free row and column you can drag and drop here, save and next action in using here, read Excel, you can drag and drop here, so yeah this uh, value from a range of cells, first start column is 1, start row is 1, and for end column and for end row I am using that variable first free column and first free row I am using here also I am using minus one okay and go to advance and select this column names next action here I am using close excel excel you can drag and drop here I'm taking set variable action. Taking row and drop here. Give the name as a table body. Now here I'm using table. So first of all, the right table table border equal to one. One and base right class class equal to right double double quotation and right style table ID equal to given as a row table name row table. Here I am starting table. Click on save. Next action I am using here for each one. Take and drag and drop here. Now here I am using X data available. Click on this arrow and columns also I am using. So here you can see Excel data dot columns. In this variable, I am changing the name. The next action I am using here send line to text here. Take and drag and drop under this for each loop. I am using here same variable table body I have, I have created that I am using here and for here I am using header. And uh, go to variable and current column variable also I'm using and close the page. Okay. And 
then this variable would be same like table body and again I'm using append line and line you can drag and draw out of this for each loop and here same uh, same like a table body and here I'm close the table row same variable I'm using here table body click on save again I'm using here for each loop for reading the excel data click and drag and drop here this time I'm using only excel data current item also click on save this append line I have to use out end of the for each loop okay now copy this append line and paste here drop under this for each loop and this time I'm starting the table row again click on save you need to I'm using copy this append line here drag and drop here under this for each loop and add it this time I'm using here the table data and current item here we have to write a square a square bracket square bracket and close the table data Click on save. Now copy this, paste here. Okay, and close this table row. Click on save. Copy again, copy and paste. Here, this one, we do add it, and here I'm closing the table that I have started in this set variable table. Okay, now here you can see I have I'm, I'm closing the table. Okay, same same variable I'm using here to console. And here I'm. I'm taking here uh, read this file. Click and drag and drop here. This read text file for reading CSS file. Here you can see table style. This this is the CSS file. Select um, and changing the name here. You can see and again for body this uh, body text and body text file okay. click on save Next action I'm using here set variable. Here I'm using this one variable and body. This body text variable also I'm using here and this body table body variable so here you can see here I'm using three variable CSS and body, uh, body text and this table body this is for a uh, table
and this for body and this is for style css style okay i hope you understand click on see now i'm using here launch public function take and drag drop here click on see and send mail message actually i'm using it take and drag and drop here my account that i'm using and i'm sending to myself and for subset i'm giving the line as a giving the line as a and here i'm using final body table body variable okay and don't forget this enable this button okay we are using stmn so click on save Let's run and see. Launch Outlook and send me. Okay, so so in the word table. Here you can see. Here is here you can see this is the body. And this table. I hope you enjoy the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more video. I will see you in the next video. That video we will see how to send table in the email body using VB script. Till then, happy learning.